wrap up then by asking about um, any other, uh, in terms of the outlook for corn and soybeans, any other you know yeah. comments you'd like to make in terms of farmers and particularly with yep. the livestock sector? You bet. The one area where we do have some pretty good moisture right now is over in the eastern corn belt and then down into the south. And those southern acres are going to be very interesting in the 2013 year. Uh, guys aren't walking away from cotton anymore. They are running away from cotton in the south. Uh, we planted about 12.4 million acres last year. This year, probably be lucky to get to 10 million total cotton acres planted. Those acres are going to be corn. Uh, there's going to be some soybeans in that mix. But a lot of those acres are going to be corn for the 13 growing season. And... Uh, that, that is one of those things that we need to keep a real close eye on. If, if the planting season doesn't, doesn't allow us to get into the field in the south uh, early in the year like we normally do, uh, then it's going to create some problems further on down the line for us. But we're going to need that 13 crop supply of corn in the old crop marketing year to bridge that gap and get us to uh, the heart of harvest in the Midwest uh, for 13. Sure. Excellent. And then um, any thoughts on, you know, obviously we're still working on the farm bill and all those discussions are going on. Anything out of that that has happened in the last several yeah. weeks that surprises you or that, that you think will really have an impact on, on livestock producers? Oh, I, yeah. There's a lot of things that are going to have an impact on livestock producers. I think maybe one of the most important things is that Cochran is, is now the ranking minority uh, member of the House Ag Committee. And uh, or I'm sorry, the Senate Ag Committee. And what that means is the South now has representation at a higher level than what they've had up to this point. And so cotton and rice kind of felt like they were getting kicked around a little bit. With Cochran in, the, in there now, that, that's not going to happen. So the South will, and cotton and rice is going to have a play a much bigger role in what ultimately this farm bill is going to look like going forward. Excellent. And then last question I have for you, I know there was some recent discussion by several senators about getting programs in for uh, livestock disaster in terms of, uh, to what degree does that really influence livestock producers in the U.S.? Is that a big... No, it, it really doesn't have much influence on whether or not they're going to fill up a feedlot or not. What that, what the influence there is the price of calves and the price of corn. And, and uh Right now, with both of them at, at relatively high levels, when you've got an opportunity to lock in some profits on those fats, go ahead and, and make sure that you get it done. Because even though we've got these high prices for cattle out here, the profits are tough to come by because of the cost of the inputs leading up to them. Sure. Okay, great. 